Hello and welcome back to Man for the Masquerade Bloodlines. Also Grouch Mansion. Grouch in a sanctum in fact. There's some people over there who are very unhappy with me. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of violence or theirs. For the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. No joy. Why can't I go in this fridge? I can't go in this fridge. <gasps> blood, blood, glorious blood. <gasps> I found Elder White Tail. That is Elder Blood. Blood of people much older than my little, my little darling. I forgot what I named her. My little Karen. Ooh, more fun, more fiend. Mighty Morphine Rangers, what? Or what they got something else? I don't remember. That's a secret door, if I've ever seen a secret door, that's one. This doesn't look like one. But hey, you guys wanted to fight, didn't you? Oh, oops, I need to block off. A glorious news in that regard in, is the fact that there's a lot of people I can drink dry here. So I should probably see if I can reduce them to one before I start sipping away. Like this. So now my blood is once again full. Thank you for your time, miss. And once again, I'm littering. <sighs> well, what else can I expect from this sort of an ordeal? Time to litter the whole area with corpses. Oh, right. So that was this was to get the fridge key, which I didn't need because I can pick locks. Because that has been a decision I made. I wanted to be able to pick locks. And as such, I have been working hard to be able to be close. Oh my god, you stabbed me! Miss! That's rude! Also, you scratched me. That's also rude. Oh, you scratched me a fair bit now. I think I need to drink you. Because I don't want to go somewhere else with my health bar filled with piss. Okay, let's get out of this disco room because that's that's gonna give someone a headache if nothing worse than that. Hello? Oh look, there's a friend there. I think that friend might have hurt her friend. Or his friend. Plenty of friends all around. Yeah, if I go down here, this just reveals to me another secret door. Oh, owie. It's 
let's open this door as well. I said, let's open this door as well. Yep. What are we doing? Well, I hope. Okay, we explored this disc room. Did we explore this disc room? No, we did not, but there was a shiny there. I wonder if I picked it up or if it's just gone forever. Who knows? Hey, you seem to have hurt your friend. I'll avenge your friend for you. There you go. You can help others. You cannot help themselves avenge their friends. Because sometimes uh, avenging your friend is difficult because you're the one who killed your friend. And suicide is not the answer. Ever. Not even when you're trying to avenge the friend you murdered. I'm making a very weird argument here, but okay. I am playing a Malkavian. Pretend it's that. I'm not all my own internet. This looks dark. This looks like a very poorly modeled staircase. Like whoever designed this. Like in world. Must not have had proper tools at hand. You just scratched me again. That's fine. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I already picked it up, apparently. It the voices have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. Is that right? Well, that sounds pretty... Pretty nasty, sir. Okay, what have you picked up? Just more morphine? Cool. So walking over shiny objects does indeed do that. Good to know that they do not in fact vanish forever into the ether, as I previously suspected. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the Vampire Society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche. Dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. Is this the wife? What's this? A gold ring.
That is a strange system, but can't blame her. Or him, or them. Oh. Seems to me like someone's already been here. Are you okay, Mr. Kraut? Mr. Kraut? Mr. Kraut? Wake up! Mr. Kraut, this is not the time to be sleeping. Kraut is no longer a corpse, he is ash. Kraut is dead? Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord. Where are your manners? How about an introduction? Yes, you burn. Tell them it was Grünfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the Archfiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Much talk, little sense. But do feel free to kill Lacroix. He's not worth much to me. Can I just jump back? Jump down? Yeah. Oh, that's on fire. You're on fire. You're very on fire. Which isn't good for me, you know. You are also on fire. Can I drink from you while you're on fire? No problem not. Because you're on fire. And I'm on fire. And we're all on fire. You're also on fire. Stop being on fire. Is this the way out? No, that's more fire. Oh, this door is open now. I'm pretty sure it wasn't before. So I'm not entirely sure what this path offers to me. offer me anything? It offers me more bloody, burning, fiery friends who will die in one hit, apparently. Which makes my time on fire a little less terrifying, but unpleasant nonetheless. Well, come here then! Why can't I feed from you? Is it because you're on fire? Probably because he's on fire. Please don't jump over the wall. Ooh, can I just leave through this window? Yes, I can. Well, let's put away the axe. And let's get out of here. This night has gone on long enough. Alright. It will take some time to get all the piss off my stuff, but. I think that'll be fine. I have seven XP right now. I need one more. Evening there. Two more. Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. My nose knows no such thing. Send me to LaCroix. Ah, uh, sure. I'll open her up for you. Ah, jeez. I could go for one of them double spaced burgers. The onions, the cheese, the bacon, the guacamole. Ooh. I haven't had breakfast yet. Stop talking. Making me hungry. And I'm I don't have any burgers. None. No burgers at all. Can I grab your ank now and stab it into your chest? No? The primogen still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you are not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. We no longer hear the voice of Grout. Grout's dead. What? I didn't say that. Who is Buck? Why does he want to set me on fire? Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Buck killed Grout to draw me out. Buck's words do not match your assumption. Buck is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? Nines? He seemed to be there too. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? 
This one doesn't know, but he knows something was not nice. It means, under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. You're becoming quite indispensable to me. So, out of all my available personnel, I'm going to entrust the retrieval of the sarcophagus to you. It was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. I am gone now. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. My pockets are hungry. Yes, of course. Uh, here. I can't have one of my representatives running around ill-equipped for that task. Indeed. Where must I find myself? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. Okay, I borrow the keys for I will fly to the roof, but first my mind wanders something. One or two, but that's all. Who is the spider in the web between you and Pa? My history with that family dates back to Bach's grandfather, who pursued me into Africa, where I killed him. Bach's father tracked me to London to meet his death. And now Bach and the Society of Leopold have followed me across America. They never learn. Who is Leopold? Witch hunters. An anachronistic holdover from the Middle Ages. They are inquisitors whose fanaticism has convinced them that their triumph over the supernatural will save mankind and secure them a cushy spot in heaven. Why would one hunt blood? A blood hunt is a death sentence. When one commits a high crime against our society, a blood hunt may be called. It is then the responsibility of the city's kindred to bring the offender final death. I will take the field trip to the museum now. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Excuse me. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Ooh, let's get a look. All right, and Apartment 4. Which is the one we could not approach via the meds before. Because it's my apartment now. That looks pretty clean. Sarcophagus to the museum in the next few days. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Hi. by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away. The mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus, though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it may be an undiscovered family of something. A tourist bus destined for the ancient city of Angkor Wat that failed to return Wednesday night was found this morning, though without any trace of its operator or passengers. Cambodian officials have dispatched several military units into the area to search through the surrounding jungle amidst concerns that it is related to one of a number of southeastern Asian terrorist organizations based in the region. Three American citizens are among the missing. I like this monitor. The Southland Slasher struck again, this time in downtown Los Angeles. The body of Sean Milton, a former convict that was recently released for good behavior, was found butchered, similarly to the other victims of the serial killer. Police believe there may be a connection between Milton's prison. A and bishop is and the sacrificed slasher. for the king. We'll have a full report on this story later tonight. Firefighters are trying to contain a flash fire in the Hollywood Hills this morning. Smoke and debris from a house fire alerted residents late this evening. The fire had already spread rapidly by the time firefighters arrived due to brush and wind conditions. 
Fire officials expect the blaze to be extinguished within the next few hours, but are advising local homeowners in the area to evacuate. You have a good time. Talk to me. <sighs> Finally, you're back. I thought maybe something happened to you. I shouldn't even think such a thing. I mean, if you disappeared, how could I go on? But you're here now. I'm so glad when you're near me. Calm down, Repet. Take me internally. I am forever yours. Oh, oh, this feeling. It's... It's love. Oh, all I can feel is love for you my way of showing man for you i almost forgot i got a college loan check today here i want you to take some of the money i am a poor investment you should invest this in the future i'd rather you kept it i think i'm gonna drop out of school you know so i can watch over you during the day or run errands for you it's the least i can do to earn my keep i would rather you keep going to school anything for you good Anything must wait. I'm gone. Though, yeah, no, my blood level is okay. But I could have a drink. Could have had a sip. Oh well. It's time to go to the museum. To spend the night at the museum. There will no be not be any T-Rexes that I can play fetch with with their own weapons, but. It will still be a night at the museum. A different museum, probably. I don't remember where a night in the museum took place, but I don't remember it being in Mampa Land. Was it in Los Angeles? I don't know. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will go and take the taxi to the museum. Because. <laughs> To the museum. What were those noises, sir? That didn't sound human. Bye bye.